Well, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets end of days trading the uh, 21st of December 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the uh, Apple and the um, <coughs> Apple Play App Store. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now in terms of uh, economic numbers for the day. <coughs> We basically finished uh, flat to negative. FTSE 100 more or less flat. The DAX flat. CAC down 16 points. FTSE MIB <clears throat> more or less flat. IBEX down mainly due to the banking concerns. And uh, Euro stocks as well, negative as well. Now, <clears throat> the main concern today was Spanish banks. Spanish banks sell off uh, okay, especially with regards to the EU ruling. And it certainly sent the uh, well, certainly increased the concerns in the banking sector. Okay, uh, in terms of U.S. markets, they're certainly languishing as well, <coughs> holding key resistance. The Dow hasn't touched twenty thousand yet. Still remains subdued and, and under in, in, into resistance. Now, the U.S. markets, as I give you an, an insight here, you can see the U.S. markets here. I've certainly traded lower to gap fill on the 60 minute chart so the Nikkei certainly remains subdued and suppressed and no uh, actual thrust higher here 10 minutes on the S&P 500 again you got gap fill below at 2262 certainly looks like it's in potential motion at the moment so the US market certainly subdued <clears throat> and uh, certainly expecting the same for the European markets as well to a large extent. Now we did have consumer confidence in the Eurozone slightly pick tick higher and we had existing home sales slightly coming stronger for the US. But other than that, nothing really. Now again Asian markets were or China was up one percent overnight. So that certainly is helping sentiment to a large extent. But we do have the uh, ongoing concerns with regards to the European banking crisis still in the background. Especially with regards to Spanish banks today. So bear that in mind. Also, given the fact that we've had Yellen's three potential rate hikes, uh, again, with the stronger housing data, certainly renewing those fears. So, again, looking for risk aversion. Okay, now let's look at the actual uh, tech picture now from the German DAX perspective. <clears throat> so, we actually did put a new high today and then obviously rejected it thereafter. And now the question is whether we can sustain that new concept of higher highs and higher lows. That's the question that we all ask ourselves now. 60 minute charts certainly did consolidate, no real breakout in either side. Uh, but the daily chart certainly seems to be marching higher for the next potential level, which is around the uh, 11,590 zone. So again, bear that in mind 11,590. Now, the German DAX at the moment is currently trading at 11,470. So just take it from that perspective and that context. Now, 60 minute chart again, just basically trading sideways all day. And the 10 minute chart at the moment has not put in a higher high. So no higher high registered there. In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring this up for you. Okay, French CAC has a doji on the daily chart. 60 minute chart and the French CAC has a H&S formation with potential gap fill below. So from my understanding and my perspective, the French CAC certainly is in a lot of trouble. And the next potential thrust is going to be lower. Okay, we are looking at testing the key of support of 4815 and then 4810. Okay, in terms of European equities, let's just bring up the European equities, Euro stocks. Here we go. Okay, so Euro stocks at the moment. So looking at the daily chart of the Euro stocks, you can see that we're certainly consolidating as an inside bar. 60 minute chart certainly held double top intraday so therefore looking for signs of further weakness now and we're currently looking at a lower high on the euro stock so certainly risk aversion from my understanding and my perspective certainly risk aversion looking for markets to be risk averse okay let's go over to the FTSE 100 now weekly chart really is a no man's land after making the gate in that red card candle daily chart is holding resistance <coughs> at uh, it's uh, confirmed that via the doji as well at the horizontal resistance 60 minute chart at the moment the FTSE 100 looking to potentially break lower 
the key support of 7025 certainly held today so you have to respect that and the, the biggest uh, onus of the biggest uh, pulls of ruddy is this h and s formation so we've currently bounced off the neckline so that certainly needs to be respected at 7025 or 7027 and now we're looking for a lower high for the FTSE to flush especially given the fact that oil prices certainly have moved lower oil prices uh, will certainly dictate and force the FTSE's hand okay and certainly look to uh, potentially uh, move lower and given the fact that the FTSE was uh, intertwined and interlinked with commodities you are looking at the FTSE certainly gapping lower and moving lower as well okay so my bias is currently at this juncture is bearish on the FTSE uh, especially the the uh, the, uh, the actual uh, downside target being h and you have the H&S formation on the 10 minute chart so my bias certainly remains uh, lower with the potential target of 7000 and obviously 6990 as well potentially below okay so i think that's a market wrap in terms of uh, economic data out later on you have uh, crude oil data uh, again supply concerns are going to be important given the fact that uh, yesterday's data or should we say uh, yeah yesterday's data certainly came out on the uh, the actual uh, bearish side for oil and that's why we're seeing this sell off today so again it'll be interesting as oil prices continue to sell off then that will certainly automatically trigger a, a sell-off in the equity markets as well so on that note be sure to visit cfds.com for your training need and take advantage of the bonus goodbye now.